Hello everybody, my name is Bohut Desponde, and uh, in this video I want to kind of introduce you guys to this notion of face detection, and I just want to give you kind of an overview of the different topics that we'll be covering in the next few videos. So uh, probably a good place to start would be to discuss what face detection is and what it isn't also. So face detection answers the question, face detection answers the question, you know, is there a face, is there a face in this image? So this is the question that after we're done with face detection, we hope to be able to answer given, you know, any image. And what I should say, and I'll put this in red, is that it is not recognition. So face detection and face recognition are two uh, different things, and it turns out face detection is kind of the first step of face recognition. But face detection is trying to answer the question, is there a face in this image? And then when we go to you know, face recognition, then we can answer the further question, you know, whose face does this belong to? So I just want to make that, uh, make that point uh, very clear is that face detection and face recognition are, are two different things. So if we were running you know, a face detection on this image, you know, we might get something like, hey, look, here's a face. You know, and then regarding whose face it is, we can't really answer that with, with just face detection. This is where a recognition would have to kind of come into play. But uh, we're primarily be discussing uh, face detection. And so... The, the process that OpenCV uses, the actual process, was actually uh, released in, in a research paper in about 2001. It's called a Rapid Object Detection Using a Boosted Cascade of Simple Features by uh, Paul Viola and Michael Jones back in 2001. And, and this title might sound a bit scary, but, but don't worry about it at all. I'm going to give you kind of an intuitive understanding of, of face detection rather than the rigorous one that they go through in the paper. And, and so the way that I want to discuss face detection is to first, in this video in particular, just give you kind of an overview of what it all, uh, what it all entails. And don't worry if some of the stuff I mentioned, the overview doesn't quite make sense because we're going to get into it and really define some, some more things in the next few videos. So I just want to give you kind of a, a, an overview of what we're going to be looking at in the next few videos. We're kind of going to kind of go through the entire uh, face detection, face detection stack, and so what uh, uh, what OpenCV does is it actually uses uh, machine learning for for face detection, and that may, kind of makes sense because you can't really go around taking pictures of everybody's face and then compare it, it to. Instead, we can sort of learn these uh, features, and so you know the first step is you know part of that machine learning. And that's kind of actually the, the the largest step. And with machine learning, we need lots and lots of examples. We need tons and tons of machine learning examples. We need positives and negatives. And you know, positives are images with faces. Oops, images with faces and negatives then are images without faces so we need to collect this data set of you know, faces that have or images that have faces and images that don't have faces and kind of manually label them as being well here are the images with faces and here are the images without faces um, but luckily OpenCV actually has all this uh, data already collected for us, so we don't actually have to deal with any of that. And sort of the second thing after that is we need to look at the features of, you know, given a training example, we need to extract uh, these these features. And, and what I mean by feature, and we're going to go into it a bit later, is it's kind of the essence of, of what a face is. And so we need to kind of extract that from the positive and the negatives. And obviously the positives are going to have, you know, the essence of, of a face with these features. And the negatives will also have features, but they won't correspond to, to faces. Actually, let me make this a bit clearer here. 
Well, let me label this as overview. And so anyway, we, we want to extract these features from, from our image and we, we need to look at all portions of our image. Um, but and, and when we do this, we'll find that the result we get a ton and tons and tons of features. I mean, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of features that we get. And th these features are just numerical ways of describing the essence of a face, for example. And so we need to extract these features from all the portions of the image. And we just end up with so many features that it's just like when we're, if we're trying to apply it using that many features, face detection would take forever. And so we need some way to reduce you know, the number of features that we have and reduce them smartly because we want to reduce the number of features, but we still want our machine learning model to be able to perform well. So given a new image, the, the model should be able to say, well, this image does have a face in it, and here is the location of the face. And so we don't want to diminish our accuracy. We want our model to stay really accurate and precise but at the same time, we want to reduce the number of features. And so there's this technique called add a boost. Add a boost. That we'll be using to help reduce the number of uh, the number of total features that that we have. Let me get rid of that. That'll help reduce the uh, total number of features from hundreds of thousands to maybe just like a few thousand, which is in two orders of magnitude uh, much smaller. But it turns out that even with even with Ada Boost, that still might not be enough. And you know we still have thousands of features that we have to check. And so uh, what they propose in their paper and what we're going to be discussing about is this cascade, this cascade of classifiers, and that's going to help drastically speed up our face detection. Missing an eye there. Okay, well, this is going to help drastically speed up our face detection because then we're not applying all thousands, you know, like 3,000 features to each part of the image. We kind of build this cascade thing kind of like a waterfall. That's where that you know, name cascade of classifiers kind of comes from. We can think of it as, as a waterfall. Uh, you know, and then after we've done all of this, then we'll have a, a great machine learning model and then we can just send it through to uh, OpenCV and say, is there a face? And then OpenCV returns all of the faces and the coordinates um, of the faces. And then we can use that for really cool things, like we can pass that on to a face recognition algorithm, and that can determine which face uh, the, the which which faces uh, these are, or whose faces they are. And or we could, we could do something like pass it to something. Um, a little less complicated, like some sort of face swapping algorithm that can kind of extract one face, extract another face, and you know swap the faces. Or you know, there are so many other different applications of face detection that we can use, and uh, this is kind of the foundation of face detection that I kind of wanted to discuss. So if if the stuff that I talked about in the overview doesn't uh, make much sense, that's okay because we're going to get into this um, really in in the next few videos. So this is just an, this is just an overview. And so, you know, I'm going to kind of discuss more uh, about the intuition behind this instead of the raw uh, mathematics so that you have a better understanding. So uh, anyway, this is kind of an overview of face detection. To give, just to do a quick recap, uh, face detection, you know, answers a question, is there a face in this image? And I made the point that it's not the same as recognition, which is going to be answering the question, you know, whose face is this? And then I kind of gave an overview. I mentioned you know, the first thing is machine learning examples. We have to make a lot. I have to have a lot of image examples with faces and without faces. OpenCV actually handles this for us. Now the next thing with this is you know features. What are features and how do we get them from from our images from our training examples? Um, third is Add a Boost, which is going to be an algorithm that we can use to reduce the number of features from hundreds of thousands to maybe just a few thousand. And then Cascade. Of classifiers, which is what they propose in their paper, because even with a few thousand features, as you can imagine, it's going to be still kind of slow. And so, a cascade of classifiers helps speed this up. Uh, and you know, that's kind of the fundamentals of face detection. And then after that, there's some uh, parameters that we're, we're going to be discussing uh, as well. So that's it for this video. And in the next video, we're going to be discussing uh, this topic uh, features. We'll be discussing that.
uh, in, in the next video.